What up, YouTube? Welcome to Sneakers and Shots. I'm your host, Valdis Richardson. And this, if this is your first time, please hit that like and subscribe. And it's been a while. I haven't shot a video in... It's been several months, you know, because everything's been so repetitive. The sneaker market is just so competitive. It's hard to get those really good drops but today I got something a little bit special uh, was probably one of the most anticipated drops of 22 and we're gonna hop right into it now this particular shoe I believe it tells a story it tells a story about a small mom-and-pop shop and someone was looking around in the back room and they ran across a supply of Chicago Air Jordan 1s from 1985. So, here you go. Now, I was one of the people who got with that exclusive drop, made it exclusive access, so it worked out pretty good for a change. As you see the box, they got the mismatched top and box, kind of like uh, the box is a little weathered. You see that? That can, that's kind of cool. Got the little sale stickers on it there. You know, box a little, looks a little beat up, but I like it. I like it. So let's get to what's in the box. You got these newspaper clippings with whew, look at that Air Jordan Super Sale, twenty nine dollars, twenty nine ninety nine. Just think about that again. You'll pay J for twenty nine or fifty nine. Now, they regular sixty five. They was on sale for twenty nine ninety nine. Getting wild quality last. Ooh, Air Jordan, huh? Right into the shoe. I was messing around with these things earlier. I got with the black lace in one, I got the cell lace in the other. As you can see from the shoe, you got some cracked leather around the ankle collar, but you also have some cracked leather on the toe, which is a little, little stiff. Ankle collar a little stiff, but that red leather yeah, that feels really good. And the leather on the side panels, they feel a little, I guess you kind of get that dry age feel to it. So it's a little rough, but not as rough as the leather that's on the toe. See, leather on the toe. And the leather in the ankle collar, of course you got the, the black uh, Jordan wings. And you got the black checks on it. And you see the tongue gives you this appearance of a, a slight yellowing with the tongue, kind of with an age look. The midsole, it looks slightly aged, it's not quite sale, but it's not quite white. You know, so I don't know, kind of did the color, but the bottom. The bottom got sort of an oxidation look on it. Like, of course, it's not a real oxidation, but the color of it was made to appear like the shoe has been sitting and oxidizing. See the slight white on it. But uh, all in all, this is a Air Jordan One Chicago. But it also came with the. Uh, Got here. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Look at the old time receipt. That's my invoice from August 30th, 1986. Paul L. Ed Jordan basketball shoes, paid in cash, final sale. Look at the receipt. The little mom and pop shop receipt. Like funny thing is, I remember 
when, <laughs> when you go to the store and buy like from the little small places and your receipt was actually like this, which is crazy. Kind of dig myself, I guess. So we 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 we, we, gonna, we gonna go to uh, Sandy Bros and get us some some more. So let me see. Uh, oh no, I give this shoe, and I'm being perfectly honest. When Chicago, the very first time in Chicago once dropped, I remember clear. I remember very clear. The um the breads had dropped. And it was a big stink in the NBA about the shoe not having enough white. And as, you know, 15 years old, 14, 15, I was in love with the breads. Couldn't afford them back then. It was like 60 something dollars for a pair of tennis shoes. My mother wasn't paying that crazy as hell. But I was in love with the breads. When these came out, because the NBA demanded that they put more white and the sneaker for the, uh, Michael Jordan to wear, they, they came out with these. And I just was not a fan of this colorway. I just liked the, the you know, the, the bread better. It was more blacked out and I was more of a fan of that one. But this is, this is what they made in response to the bread not having enough white. So they gave you the Chicago. Well, at the time, like I said, I didn't really like this shoe. Now, I really like this shoe. This shoe right here. It, it, it's hard to say it may be sneaker of the year because basically it's a Air Jordan 1. That's it. It's just a 1. You know, it's, it's the color that everybody wants. It's kind of like when when Virgil Abloh did the Chicago one off white and it's been several uh, 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 renditions of this shoe drop, dropped over the past five, six, seven years but this one is definitely the closest you're going to get to the original. So I guess they, they, they settled on a title Lost and Found. I think it was might have been titled the Chicago One Reimagined, but I think the Lost and Found is definitely a much better name for this. And but again, I'm sure the year I give this a I don't know. I gotta get this a ten out of ten. You know, I was thinking. Maybe a nine out of ten because of the cracked leather and them being just them just trying to to jizz it up a little bit, but I gotta get us a ten out of ten. So I'm giving a ten out of ten on the Chicago ones lost and found. Uh, what do you think? Leave those comments below. Also, how do you think this thing looks better? Will it look better with the the sail strings or the black strings? Leave a comment at the, at, at the bottom. Let me know what how you feel about it. So, um, that's about all I got for this today. Hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace. Please, no photos. Hiding this bitch like Coco. They eat up my mojo. Gucci, that's the logo. Uh, don't even try Sunoco. Got that fat Sunoco. Don't get beat, go go. Bag in the trap, hoko. Flex, please. No photos. Hiding this bitch like Coco. They eat up my mojo. Gucci, that's the logo. Uh, don't even try Sunoco. Got that fat Sunoco. Don't get beat, go go. Bag in the trap, hoko. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, freezy. Dripping and making a mess. Brody in love with his tech. Sending more shots than tetanus. Uh, Dripping in this bitch wet. Uh, Hoping me to have this check. Uh, yeah, I failed some tests. Zell pay the rest. When she loyal, I love her the best. If she lying, Lolita gonna love her some less. Uh, I got another confession. In love with money, I love me some relish.